So I'm going to get in combat. I'm going to go ahead and hit that final verdict. Wake of Ashes applied to Dawn Lights. Then we wings. Oh, look at that. We got a couple extra Dawn Lights going on. And uh, it's Dot Central right here. Just tons of dots everywhere. Love it. Look at all these dots. What's up guys, Lil here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on the War Within Alpha. Now, I did release a overview video of all the Paladin, ta Paladin talent changes and the Templar tree, so I'm going to leave a link in the description to that video. This video we are going to be covering exclusively Herald of the Sun for Retribution Paladins. And by the way, I think this build is so good. There's so many different variations of, of talents that you can play that all synergize really well with herald of the sun and it feels different than templar and it feels different than standard paladin and i'm very happy with the way that this talent tree has been designed so far so let's get into the first option so we've herald of the sun which i they changed the names a couple of times now it's no longer called sunspots it's called dawn lights your Wake of Ashes will cause your next two Holy Power Spenders to either cast a Dawn Light on a friendly target if you're using your Eternal Flame, <clears throat> which by the way is the next talent here, replaces Word of Glory. It does Word of Glory larger than Word of Glory initial healing and it gives you a heal over time effect. And then also um, if you use a offensive spender like Final Verdict, it will put the dot, the damage over time effect on the target. And the dot is interesting in the fact that it actually, let me give you a quick example right here. It's an AOE dot, so it's like a burn. So you guys see the sunspot? Well, it actually, every time that it ticks, it also hits everything around it. So it's kind of like a living bomb from the fire mage. And it does a, it does a lot of damage. And there's a, a number of ways that you can modify this spell here. So the first modifier is called Morningstar. It's actually a choice node between Gleaming Rays and Morningstar. And by the way, I'm not quite sure which one of these are going to be a little bit better. But Morningstar causes your Dawn Light to get this stacking buff. It's kind of like if you if you know what Inquisitor's Ire is. It's basically exactly Inquisitor's Ire, but instead it is for your uh, your damage over time, your Dawn Light effect, and it stacks. In combat, it's every five seconds, but out of combat, it's every 2.5 seconds. And then Gleaming Rays is kind of like another seal of order, except it's only active during your Dawn Lights, during your, your damage over time effect. Uh, next up, we have Luminosity. So this talent increases the crit chance of Hammer of Wrath and Divine Storm by 10%. This is cool because they did remove the auto crit from the, uh, the Vengeful Wrath talent here. It is now Hammer Wrath dealing 50% increased damage to people below 35% HP. So Hammer Wrath is once again an execute. And by the way, this talent has huge synergy with the next talent I'm gonna go over right here, Blessing of Anshi. So your damage and healing over time effects have a chance to increase the damage of your next Hammer of Wrath by 200% and make it usable on any target regardless of health. So we have multiple ways to proc Hammer of Wrath. We have our wings, we have our chance from our final verdict, and then we have our chance from all of our spells to proc a uh, a Blessing of Anshi right here. And this hits hard. It There's nothing that hits harder than a wings empowered, like below 35% H, HP Blessing of Anshi Hammer of Wrath. This thing cranks, like it hits, it hits as hard no no no. it hits harder than the uh the other templar build or spell or whatever so this might be tuned up a little bit um but it's also kind of a low proc chance i think i'm seeing about two procs per minute or so or maybe one to two procs per minute uh so i'm not quite sure if it is you know they're going to tune the damage or keep it a low proc chance but i i honestly i enjoy it anything that makes hammer wrath hit really hard i find fun all right, next up here, we have another choice node. We have Illumine or Will of the Dawn. So these are two movement speed related uh, talents here. So if you guys were unaware, Truce Wake, or I'm sorry, not Truce Wake, uh, Wake of Ashes lost its slow. And what this talent right here, Illumine does is it brings the slow back in the form of your Dawn Lights. So your damage over time, your Dawn Lights 
now slow the enemy by 50% and increase your movement speed and your ally movement speed by 20%. So this is cool. Um, Dawn Lights giving us move speed and slowing people down are, are very nice options because Rhett does not have a true slow or, or one slow here. Judgment of Justice, it sucks. It's 30%. It's very low. Um, and then you also have Will of the Dawn increasing your move speed by 5% while above 80% HP. And then while your HP or when your HP is brought below 35%, you get a short 40% move speed increase on a minute cooldown. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about this. This is this is okay. I mean, like obviously there are much we've had much better moving speed talents in the past, and one could only hope that they get brought back. But I mean, I'll, I'll take it. We got some move speed choices. Over here, you have Sun Seer, Hammer, Wrath, and Divine Storm crits cause an additional Radiant Damage Burn. Uh, we like that. Huge synergy with crit, huge synergy with Luminosity, more synergy down here with Adjudication. Uh, and then also we have more synergy with Penitence and Burning Crusade because this is Radiant Damage and this is Dot Damage Increase. So tons of synergistic talents with Sun Seer here. Uh, next up, we have Second Sunrise. Divine Storm and Hand of Wrath have a 15% chance to cast again at 30% effectiveness. Pretty cool. This is looking nice. <clears throat> we also have Solar Grace. So we have a miniature version, and, and I'll explain this when we get into the uh, the damage testing. here. We have a miniature version of Crusade. Um, and the reasoning behind this is you actually apply more you then this is bugged right now this is kind of bugged you apply dawn lights when you push wings uh ally and um enemy dawn lights but it's random right now and also it's bugged so i'm getting anywhere between like zero and two offensive or or actually yeah zero and two dawn lights offensive or defensive dawn lights and it should be generating four and i'm sometimes i'm getting zero so i i'm pretty sure this spell is bugged uh, anyways, so your haste is increased by 4% for 12 seconds each time you apply Dawn Light and multiple stacks overlap. So what you want to do is uh, you want to wings, apply your Dawn Lights, you get the haste, and then you're going to use Wake of Ashes and apply two more Dawn Lights. And uh, you're going to just get a bunch of haste every time you wings without having to take Crusade. It's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Aurora here. We gain Divine Purpose after using Wake of Ashes. So that's awesome. Cool. We get a, uh, a free Holy Power Spender, whether that's on Eternal Flame, Divine Storm, or Wake of Ashes. Uh, I'm not Wake of Ashes. Uh, Final Verdict. It's pretty cool. All right. And finally, we have the Capstone ability, Sun's Avatar. Pretty cool looking spell. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a moment. So during Avenging Wrath, you become linked to your Dawn Lights, causing about 2k or 3k radiant damage to enemies or 3k radiating healing to allies that pass through the beams. Uh, so this is like unholy DK hell chains almost. Uh, it's a pretty cool ability. And then activating Avenging Wrath applies four Dawn Light onto nearby allies or enemies, increases Dawn Light's duration by 25%. So we get a little bit extra length on our Dawn Lights and we also get to apply even more. All right, after a little bit more testing, um, I've kind of verified that Sun's Avatar is pretty bugged right now. So unfortunately, it's unreliably applying anywhere from zero to two Sun's Avatar Dawn Lights. Uh, and then also it's not actively increasing the duration of previously applied Dawn Lights or Dawn Lights that actually end up coming from the, uh, the Avenging Wrath when I actually proc it. But I'm gonna try and give you guys the best example of a damage breakdown that I can. And actually, I'm going to do it um, a little bit backwards. So in theory, you would think that what you should be doing is getting in combat with a target and then popping wings to apply four uh, Dawn Lights on all these targets here. And then you would go into a Wake of Ashes to apply two more Dawn Lights so you can maximize the Solar Grace. Unfortunately, you can't really do that right now just because it's bugged and not really reliably applying our Dawn Light. So I'm just going to show you guys what the visual looks like and what the damage breakdown looks like. And by the way, I'm running Templar Strike because Templar Strike is super, super overtuned right now or bugged or something. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. Uh, one, two. Now look at the dots. Look at the dots. The dot damage is crazy. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's just bugged. It's, it's just bugged. That or it's double dipping into Burning Crusade and Penitence like by a lot. Um, the dot damage is nuts. 
but I do think at the end of the day, whenever this gets tuned or bug fixed or whatever, then maybe Crusading Strikes plus Vanguard's momentum will be a little bit more appetizing because of the Sunseer dot here and the crit chance that we get on Luminosity and the fact that Avenging, or and the fact that we run Vengeful Wrath. But all right, let me show you what the damage breakdown like kind of looks like here. So I'm gonna get in combat. Gonna go ahead and hit that final verdict. A wake of ashes applied to dawn lights. Then we wings. Oh, look at that. We got a couple extra dawn lights going on. And uh, it's dot central right here. Just tons of dots everywhere. Love it. Look at all these dots. Yeah, the dot damage that uh, that Red has is pretty nuts. Absolutely nutty. And um, I really like it. Like the visual's cool. It's a different style of damage than uh, than Templar, it feels different than previous retail Rhett. I I wanted a dot spec for Rhett, and uh, even if we don't end up running Templar Strike, so we have one less dot, I think that this spec could work. Um, you know, we, we buff our dots with Burn to Ash. So I think this build, Herald of Sun, will be playing a lot of crit and haste with maybe a tiny bit of mastery. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna play out entirely. But um, yeah, I mean, this this build feels really good. And uh, just one more time here, let me let me see if I can show you guys the bug that I mean. So let me get in combat and then I'm gonna wings right here. Anything? Yeah, so no no dawn lights, it's supposed to. And it sometimes, sometimes it does give me offensive dawn lights when I'm in combat already. But um, at the moment, it's just, yeah, it's just bugging out. And it's not even giving me any like healing dawn lights. Let me, let me show you guys what a, uh, a healing dawn light looks like here. So, Wake of Ashes, and then an Eternal Flame. So our Dawn Lights are ticking, getting overheals. One more Dawn Light here. So, Rhett is going to have a... Honestly, it's kind of a lot of... I feel like it's kind of a lot of overhealing here. Like, the Dawn Light ticks are 20k. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And keep in mind, I actually have zero versatility on the template character. So we, we're not modifying our, our healing in any way. Um, but, you know, it remains to be tested. There's a lot of bugs going on right now with Herald of Sun, with Dawn Lights, as opposed to Templar. But, uh, I mean, we got the basics down of the whole Dawn Light here, of, of what it's going to look like. And I think it looks good ton of synergy talents um a lot of different builds that we can go we can run crusading strikes um get rid of something i don't know maybe uh maybe we'd get rid of the blessed champion here and toss in a vanguard's momentum and now all of a sudden we can play a build similar to retail but you know with a dot twist i like it i like it and um i really want to test out how the heals feel how how the defensive um eternal flames feel how the uh the defensive dawn lights feel. I just don't really have anyone to duel at the moment. Um, actually, Arrow just logged on, so maybe I do. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and I'll see you all next time for future Paladin testing. And also I'll be running through some of the other classes as their hero trees release. All right, peace.